Question 10. A. A is the point 6, 2 and B is the point 3, negative 4. Find the coordinate of the midpoint of AB. So you have X1 to be equals to 6, Y1 to be equals to 2, X2 to be equals to 3, then Y2 to be equals to negative 4. So using x to be equals to x1 plus x2 over 2 okay so which is equals to 6 add 3 over 2 so this will give us 4.5 so you have 4.5 okay then also we have y to be equals to y1 plus y2 over 2 which is equals to negative 4 plus 2 over 2 that will be negative 2 over 2, which is equals to negative 1. So we have negative 1 here. Roman figure 2, calculate the length AB. So the length AB, written as this, will be equals to the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. Okay, so if you key in the values, so you have... Okay, you can draw this. We have 3 minus 6 all squared plus um, negative 4, negative 2, negative 4, negative 2 all squared. Okay, so you may want to simplify this further or you could, you could input this into your calculator straight away. So this would be square root of um, negative 3 squared plus negative 6 squared, okay, so which is equals to, okay, you can say the length AB equals to square root of 9 add, uh, uh, square root of 9 add 36, so this will be equals to square root of 45, okay, so you may leave an answer like this, or simply 6.71, so 6.71, so part B, the equation of the line L is 4x plus 3y minus 12 equals to 0. Find the gradient of L. So what you need to do is to write this uh, in the form y equals to mx plus c. Okay, so if you do that, you have uh, 3, okay, let's write 4x plus 3y minus 12 equals to 0. So we have 3y to be equals to um, 4, negative 4x at 12. So y equals to negative 4 over 3x plus 12 over 3. So y equals to negative 4 over 3x plus 4. So if you compare this with the uh, equation, uh, general equation of a switch line, so you see that m is equals to negative 4 over 3. So that will be the gradient. Okay. So remember figure 2, find the coordinates of the point where L crosses the y axis. So um, what we want to do is to get the uh, intercept on y axis. Okay. So that is uh, the requirement here. From our solution in B Roman figure 1, so the equation of line L is y equals to negative 4 over 3x plus 4. So if you compare this with the general equation of a straight line, that is y equals to mx plus c. Okay, so you see that uh, c is the intercept on y axis. So that means we can say C is equals to 4. So that means L uh, touches the Y axis at um, Y equals to 4. Okay. And of course, at this point, uh, X is equals to uh, 0. Okay. So that means the coordinates will be 0, 4. So I have 0, 4. Then Roman figure 3, line P is perpendicular to L. So if they are perpendicular, so don't forget that, okay, the gradient of um, 
like L is equals to negative 4 over 3. Okay, so the gradient of line P, so generated by this, will be equals to 3 over 4 because they are per per perpendicular. So that is, um, you can say, MP, the product of MP and ML equals to negative 1. So you can easily get the gradient of P here. So find the equation of P in the form Y equals to MX plus uh, C. Okay, so since we know the gradient now, so, and it passes through uh, this point. So, we can say that uh, x1 mm, equals to 6 and y1 equals to 5. So, using the formula y minus y1 equals to the gradient into x minus x1. Okay, so if you get this, so we we'll need to key in the values. So that will be y minus y1 is 5 equals to the gradient 3 over 4 into x minus x1 is 6. Okay, so let's simplify this. So this will be equals to uh, y equals to 3 over 4 into x minus 6 then plus 5. So let's expand this bracket. So y will be equals to 3 over 4 x then minus 3 over 4 times 6 16 over 4 plus 5 and input this into your calculator straight away okay so if you do that you get y to be equals to 3 over 4 x then plus 1 over 2 okay so this is now as required so we have it to be in form of y equals to mx plus c so this will be 3 over 4x plus 1 over 2. So this will be the end of the solution to question 10. In the next video, I will solve question 11, which is the final or the last uh, question. Until then, have your fingers crossed.